Are we losing work because our prices are too low? The feedback was a little bit different to what we normally get. Jake talks through the business and how it doubled in the last financial year. We've had a crazy year uh, in terms of growth. An install in Rochdale. Um, but it just wasn't feeling right in the space and why we use TVs in staging. Um, and then they had a big question about the incorporation of a TV. Welcome to Foxy TV, episode 169. Four segments to show you this week. Let's start things off with our main topic. Are we losing work because we are priced too low? And pay attention at the end as Phoebe has a question for you. So I had an uh, email come through from a client on a Saturday morning saying, thank you so much for the styling. It's absolutely fantastic. The house is sold. Can we organize to pick it up? Um, Phoebe, when you've got a minute, can you give me a call? I've just got some feedback I want to give you. Um, uh, my heart drops. I'm like, oh my God, what's it going to be? Thinking that it's going to be something like the artwork's fallen off the wall, something's gotten damaged, etc., etc. So I gave the guy a call. The feedback was a little bit different to what we normally get. They wanted to let me know, A, they loved everything. Everything was absolutely fantastic. Um, but B, they had three quotes when they were doing, uh, getting ready to get their property to the market. And we came in uh, the lowest, which we generally sit in the middle of the market. So then I asked, so can I ask the other stylists that you get in, are they hiring their stock? But like, do you know who they are? And so he told me who the stylists were. I know that they do hire their stock. So I know straight away we're priced, uh, we're the lowest because we actually own our stock, not hiring it from a third party. Um, however, a normal person doesn't know that. So he proceeded then to let me know that they almost didn't go with us because we were priced too low. Their agents hadn't used us either previously. Um, and so the agents started to raise the questions, well, are they... Are they actually going to have everything in there? Are they actually taking pieces out? I would be comparing apples with apples here. Um, and I found that really interesting and it, and it got me thinking. So I've spoken about our pricing before. Our pricing for us, it covers everything that we need plus a nice little profit there. Obviously, we've got a fantastic big team um, and we're not running at a loss by any means. We're missing out on work because we're priced too low compared to the rest of the market. Um, what would you do in this situation? Would love to know. Let us know in the comments of this video, what would you do in our situation or have you faced something similar? On to part two of this episode and Jake is going to run us through the high level business numbers and how Foxy has grown over the last 12 months. So we said that last year as well and we knew we'd have to see more growth, but it probably has surpassed um, our own expectations and it'd be interesting to go back and look at last year's video to see actually. So in terms of the number of installs we've done over the last 12 months, so the last financial year we did about 440 or 442 I think I had written down. This year we're going to hit closer to 920, which is, you know, that's a crazy number for us to, to even be talking about. We've We've got the uh, extra truck, which has allowed us, um, obviously, to do a lot more. Um, and I think last year we only got the second truck partway through the year, so that helps explain why we're able to do more. But even so, I mean, that's you know we're, we've over doubled in terms of the the output um, of the business. The number of houses out uh, at any one point in time last year, I think the record was about 63 at the time. Um, right now, we've got about 122 houses out, which is I think 123 was the previous record or is the record at the moment. So again, um, you know, we're talking about double the number. Numbers. The team has grown in line with that as well. We had 11 people this time last year and now we're at 21. So we've filled out pretty much every area of the business. Um, the styling team's had a few more people. Um, we've, we've lost a few of those 11 from last year as well and we've replaced them as well as built out the team. So the logistics with the extra truck has meant more people. Um, marketing's had some more. We've got a couple in the admin now. So yeah, 21, uh, about to be 22 I think as well when we, uh, we're looking at another person for our marketing team. And then the other number I wrote down, uh, which is a, an interesting one, is the amount spent on new furniture. So bringing new stock into the business, which we're, you know, if you look around, there's boxes and plastic and everything. It's, it's all still coming. Last year we spent about $550,000 um, on new furniture across the 12 months. This year alone, we've spent about 1.7 million on new stock. So uh, with all of that growth in terms of the number of houses out and installs, we need to build our inventory and that's what Phoebe has done, so yeah. It is now time to take you to an install in Rochelle. Our lead stylist for this job is Ebony with assistance from stylist M. And in the logistics in the truck is Russ and John. We're in Rochdale today. We're styling a completely vacant property. We've gone with blacks, white, so monochrome with a touch of blue. Yeah, so our rule is we don't usually have the back of a sofa facing when you walk into a room. So we tried it, well I tried it a few different ways. We went to the left and right, um, but it just 
wasn't feeling right in the space. So yeah, we had to break the rule and come to the back. For the final part of the episode, I'm going to show you one side of a conversation Phoebe recently had with a client. I'll first let her tell you or explain what the conversation was about before showing you some, some parts of the conversation. Um, they had some questions about the quote that we're doing. So we are doing an integrated style for them. They uh, had queries about the pieces we were using because they don't love them as much as what they think we could put into their home. They had a big question about the incorporation of a TV. So we use TVs all the time. You'll see that in all of our styling. Other companies don't. So it's just about articulating why we think it's important. Now, the TV, um, she mentioned that you had a different styling company come through and they suggested, yeah. So TVs are one thing that is, uh, some styling companies incorporate them and some don't. Um, the ones that don't, they tend not to because they feel like it, it could be better with a piece of artwork that it presents prettier. Now, yeah. So that's why they probably likely would have suggested it. We incorporate TVs every single time I haven't. Like the whole point of engaging a styling company is to take away that need for imagination. Um, and by not using a TV, we're making them a buyer use their imagination as to where it will go. No, you still want personality and warmth. Yeah, and I love, do you know what I love when we incorporate your pieces? The end product is so unique. The entertainment unit shouldn't stand out. It needs to hide. It doesn't, we don't want it to be the best piece in the room yet. So it, it's perfect for what we need. And then the pieces we bring in are going to help to really make everything else stand out. All right, if you think of anything else, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you as always for watching Foxy TV. I hope you got something out of it and we'll see you back here for the next episode. Just be, just be.